Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Here to help us out today is OBGYN Dr. Anita Landry, who is back in the house. And also joining us Thank for you. our first topic today is environmental and consumer advocate Aaron Brockovich, who yes. is also rejoining us. And we brought in the big guns. And, and there's a reason nice that, to have you back. that Aaron is here because you, you do so many great things. But our first topic is right in your wheelhouse. It's the topic of chromium-6. This has also now been called the Aaron Brockovich chemical. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about that. But, but, but. Let, let me tell you about this new study. And it was released from the Environmental Working Group that found 218 million Americans' water contains levels of chromium-6 that the group considers dangerous. Most people probably haven't even heard of this chemical, but what does that mean? When, when that, that's the majority of Americans. Oh, that's two thirds of the country that are, are drinking varying levels of hexavalent chromium in their water, which is actually really very shocking to me. Um, envir- and here's the map that Environmental Working Group, and it's not Environmental Working Group's data, by the way. This is data that the Environmental Protection Agency has that has not yet been put out because we're in a constant fight. So what do, what do the colors mean there? Because um, there's some blue, some yellow, and then some gray areas. The darker blues are where you see higher concentrations okay. of hexavalent chromium. The lighter blues are medium. The, the yellow is less. So what do people, what should we be worried about with chromium? What, what is the danger if this is in your water at too high of a level? Well, in the state of California, we've finally set public health goals for hexavalent chromium in our drinking water, and that's set very low at 0.02 parts per billion. Anything beyond that could cause health implications. You know, when I did my work in Hinkley, we have huge situations out in Texas with very high levels of hexavalent chromium. We are seeing communities that have a lot of cancer. For me, what I want for the consumer is it's our water supply. We shouldn't have poisons in our water at any level, period. Where is it coming from? Where is this hexavalent? It's widely used by industry. Hexavalent chromium has been known as one of the best anti-rust corrosion inhibitors. And by the way, it's very cheap. Now, in Europe, it is banned from all industry as of January 2017. And that needs to happen here in America. We really are lagging behind on some of our regulations. It's true. Aaron, when we pay our water bills, water bills, we assume that there's someone in the background, like making sure the water is actually safe to use. Mm-hmm. Why is that not happening? I mean, is it about is it about money? Is it politics? Is it? It's money. It's politics. It's chemical lobbyists. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all big of business that. It's, lobbyists. It really is. You said a really key word though here for the consumer, and that's an assumption. We cannot, and we are no longer in a place to assume, specifically when I'm talking about our water quality in this country, that someone's got your back. They don't. And what I want people to know is learn from this map, know what's in your water, don't be afraid to ask questions, get involved, be aware, because you're gonna have to take your own back and you're in charge of what it is you put in your body and what you're drinking, so know what's going on. Well, let's that's just say, the best and, and, and that's a really important point. You know, obviously, we profiled the Flint, Michigan water crisis. Mm-hmm. Now we're learning about other things. I'm sure a lot of you, again, haven't heard about hexavalent chromium, but what, so what can people do? Let's just say, theoretically, I look at that map, and I live in a dark blue area. Right. Is there anything that you can do beyond buying bottled water and no longer using tap water? The best thing that you can do is know what's in your water. Know your water quality. Do not assume, do not assume when you turn on that tap, everything's hunky-dory. This map is hexavalent chromium. That's just one chemical in our national water supply. We all should be supplied by our municipal water companies a water quality report. If you haven't gotten one, call them and get one. And if you don't understand what it means, I'm not kidding, send it to us and we'll tell you exactly what it means. And when you say send it to us, where can I... 
where can I guide our viewers? Because literally, this is an important takeaway, because what is the one thing we all consume every single day? It's water. water. We all consume it, and obviously, it's ubiquitous. Um, but I'm also concerned looking at that map, because it didn't, it didn't seem to be concentrated in one part of the country. It seemed like really everyone out there has to be aware, because a lot of times you'll look at a map, and OK, the southwest states, there's a lot there. Right. But that's kind of everywhere. I think it's anywhere there's industry. Well, and, and, and absolutely. There's in, and there's industry and everywhere. It is concerning, and this is all of our problem. I'm really frustrated and honestly tired of the political fights that we are having. We cannot politicize our water. It's all of our water. It doesn't matter if you're rich, poor, Democrat, Republican. I do not care. Every one of us has to put our hands out here. We are in a national water crisis. You just don't know it. So, uh, so, uh, so uh, yeah, we, and we appreciate all the hard work you've continued to do on this. And, you know, we'd love to continue to periodically have you back on the show and keep oh. us abreast of these things. So thank, thank you. you. I would be my pleasure. Thank you, Travis. Really important info. We'll have more links on our website, thedoctorstv.com. Uh, and you can email me if you want. Wow. And it, Aaron at Brockovich.com. It's that simple. But uh, that's, that's a passionate person. Thank you for that. And,